uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I also just dropped a vlog. If you want to check out my vlog talking about how people do me dirty, um, beep that. So, just gonna be logging in. Don't forget, guys, I'm doing a giveaway. We are the pickles, so I'm giving away a pickle mug. This is like my fourth pickle mug giveaway. So don't you forget, get a trigger, DM me on Instagram, I want to be in the giveaway, and boom, you're in. I have three people in the giveaway already, so you could be one of these lucky winners. Anyway, check out my website, www.jdasmr.com, and see you in a minute. Let me just get everything pulled up. Um, don't be disrespectful in my chat, or I will slap you with my love and affection. One second, dear. I am just trying to deal with the fact that I had six slices of pizza today, and I just took a massive dump, and I can't sit down for a minute or two, so let me get my stuff pulled up and we'll get started. Okay, one second, you're almost done. Welcome in. Welcome in, welcome in. doesn't 
eyeballing. Okay, look it down for me, please. Okay, Laura, I see you sending me your first gift ever. Okay, Quay, just relax. I'm just gonna get a little close here. scissors are. My small scissors. I know where the others are. But don't worry. I've got what I need here to just do you right because I don't know what we got going on here but it's definitely not going to work. 
show the scissors or I'll get suspended. Sometimes bad things happen. 
Sometimes we think our life is falling apart, Kimberly, but it's not. Our life isn't falling apart. It's falling into place. You're going to let one bad day ruin your 365. I don't think so, Kimberly. Snap out of it. You are the best. You are perfect just the way you are. Not a person, not a thing, not an instance can get you out of the right mindset. Hattie, I want you to love and appreciate yourself, period. That's the end of the conversation, Kimberly. Do you understand me? Are you listening? Are you listening? You're amazing. Love yourself. Don't worry, Kimberly. Whoever it was, they didn't deserve you. Next up on the trigger list is Sean. Sean didn't put anything specific.
Bishop Sid J. Harris, S I D J A Y H A R R I S. YouTube video customs are seven bucks for five minutes. So don't you forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Sid JD ASMR. The link is in the bio to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. DM me on Instagram. I want to be in the giveaway if you get a trigger between today and Friday. My two year old is going to pick the winner because I'm biased. Okay, Noah. <clears throat> specifically so guess I'm just gonna comb your eyelids don't forget to like and share the live or I'll lick you
Westies. Next up is Cece. Cece and then Becca. And then Danielle. Cece, Becca, and Danielle are next up. Cece says, Inaudible, tell me about your day. If you want to know actually about my day, check out my vlog. Link in the bio on my YouTube channel. But Cece basically...
left a blanket back there with some mints. From what I can tell, you need those mints. Anyway. Looks like this is your stop up here, yeah? Yeah, you want to go to the public library? Yeah. Good, good, good. Because there's no talking in there, you know? So I'm just going to... stuff out the car. No, I used to lift like 300 pounds back in the day. I was heavyweight champ, but then I tore my ACL. Unfortunately, I can't lift that much anymore. Max I can lift is like a pound. Yeah, I probably can't help you, but you know, it's nice to offer. Yeah, we're just coming up on it right here. I'm just parking. Do you have any uh, questions for me? Trying to get that five star review, you know. What do you mean you didn't want to talk on the drive? I'm a very nice person. Okay, I guess you're just in one of those moods. Women. <laughs> Probably on your little period. <laughs> Bye now. Get in there. Say, hey, chill, chill. Hey, this is a rental. Chill. What's spitting our cereal. Okay. <laughs> Next up on the trigger list. I've got Ashley. Ashley said, give me those damn wood blocks. I felt that, Ashley. I felt that hard. It's bad. 
especially after you take a poop and I don't know if that's a bad thing because if you're eating it just say that sometimes you don't shower and it's in weird times like after you get out of the pool everybody should shower after
Yes. Perfect money. Amazing. Okay. I am starting to reach dangerous hunger levels. So I am going to put up the overtime sign.
Anyway, Kira. <gasps>
that's like not. Yes. Follow it down. Good job. Good job. Perfect. Okay, now you're doing a great job, Noah. I would love for you to. second favorite 
she's gonna need a nurse while I'm on lunch. Okay. Yeah, don't worry, I got it here. Thanks, Celia. Tell me, does this hurt? Does this hurt? Stop squirming. If you stop looking at my nose, you're going to blow up. Just look straight towards me. That was the last trigger in my queue, Hattie. Um, I do put all these TikTok live streams on YouTube, so don't forget if you got a trigger and you want to win this pickle mug, just DM me on Instagram. I bought a trigger and I want to be in the giveaway, and boom, you're in. My two year old's gonna pick the winner. Winner gets announced on Friday, so hopefully, you guys will tune into that giveaway. And now it is reading time. What we've all been waiting for.
However, right before the flash went off ground, I decided she wanted a little snack or something. Oh. Because suddenly she turned around and yanked at a candy cane up on the tree branch, and oh my gosh, the whole tree fell over. It was a total family Maxwell moment. I laughed so hard my ribs hurt, and now this portrait is admittedly my favorite. Everybody posing nicely, and Brianna tried to tuck a candy cane off the tree. Unfortunately, Mom decided we looked so adorable in our snowman sweaters, she wanted to all wear them to dinner at my Aunt Mabel's house tomorrow. I was like, just freaking great. My Aunt Mabel is not exactly my favorite relative. It's like going to have dinner with my Auntie Scrooge. And any holiday spirit I had leaked right out of me. This is the woman who still insists that I sit at the dreaded kid's table. And, um, just thinking at the kitty, just thinking about the kitty table made me anxious. Made me want to have a complete meltdown to survive this ordeal. I have to. I was going to need nothing short of a Christmas miracle. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Sajidi ASMR. I just dropped a new video, Doctor Steals Your Eyes. If you need more ASMR, go check out my Doctor Steals Your Eyes YouTube video. Follow me on Instagram at Sajidi ASMR with two R's to know when the next live is. Wednesday, December 25th. Today is Christmas Day and Brianna woke us up by banging on our bedroom doors and screaming hysterically like she does every year. Wake up, everybody. You know what time it is. Me and Miss Penelope saw Santa on his reindeer leaving. They flew right over our roof and Miss Swallowbangers. And all y'all need to wake up. It's an emergency. Then we all rushed downstairs in our pajamas when Santa has left open all our presents and Brianna got into the stuff as usual. Yay, Christmas, yay, yay, Christmas, Christmas, yay. Mom and Dad loved the scrapbook that Brianna and I made, which included a hilarious Christmas, which included the hilarious falling over tree picture. Mom, Dad, and their scrapbook. Very, but the very best present was Squee! My brand new cell phone. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Soon it was time to go to my Aunt Mabel's for our holiday dinner, and my dad's oldest sister is just as old fashioned and strict. But strict, I just mean, mean. <laughs> Thanks, dear. Now quit slouching. Your mouth is open, and you're gonna attract flies. Mom says Aunt Mabel is like that because. She thinks kids should be seen and not heard. But personally, I think Aunt Mabel just hates kids because she has nine of them. Oh my gosh, if I give her nine old times, I think I wouldn't want to see or hear them. And I'm just saying. But get this, I'm 14 years old and that evil woman still made me sit at the kitty table. And these adults sat in the dining room at a hand-carved antique table with queen and chairs, fancy porcelain china, crystal glasses, and gold-plated silverware. The kitty table was a wobbly child-sized card table with a worn-out bed sheet over it. We got paper plates, plastic forts, you know the drill. And sitting at the kitty table wearing my snowman sweater was the ultimate humiliation. Me at the kitty table. The whole thing was very traumatic. Thank goodness the food was delicious or it would have been a totally worthless visit. My Aunt Mabel is as mean as a pit bull, but she's an excellent cook. Anyway, I was really happy when we finally made it back home because I got to play around with my new cell phone. I couldn't believe all the new stuff it had. Internet, texting, email, instant messages, games, a camera, home workout, automatic pizza delivery, and a team peer counseling hotline. Oh my god, if cell phones paid allowances, parents would be obsolete. Brianna went nuts because my phone came in with a sugar princess plum game, saves baby unicorn from the island, and I let her play it for an hour right before bed, but she's like totally addicted now. My new phone is going to save me so much money. Now whenever I need to bribe Brianna, I just use the game. Something I simply, um, something I said to her was it was going to take me a while to figure out a schedule. But I took a picture of me and sent it to Chloe, Zoe, and Brandon. They're going to be so shocked and surprised when they see it. It was snowing outside already. It looked like Winter Wonderland. Um, we lit up the fireplace and roasted some marshmallows together. And a 
friend's shelter. I throw a sea fit when I have to clean my room and put the dishes in the dishwasher. I'm such a spoiled brat. I don't even realize my family is a total blessing. It's just mind-boggling to me how he's lost pretty much everything, including his parents. Yet he continues to just give, give, give. Now that is a Christmas miracle. Alrighty, guys. We are going to end it. We just finished Christmas Day. We'll pick it back up on December 26th. I hope you guys enjoyed the live stream. Don't forget to go check out my new Dr. Steals Your Eyes YouTube video. I hope you enjoyed the live stream. I hope you guys get some rest. And... See you on the flip. Yes, Brandon's an orphan. He stays with his grandparents.